that Peter was making clear was that it was that you crucify. And it wasn't that he was just pointing a finger, he was also pointing to himself as well. Because on the day he was to be crucified, as he was going to be taken in, Peter told him, I will follow you even to death. And Peter would have been saying, I didn't do so well. I, as a matter of fact, denied him three times, didn't stand up for him, and he died. I didn't do anything to stop it. There were lots of opportunities to stop it. The whole parading throughout the town was giving an opportunity for somebody to step forward and give evidence to stop it. But no, God made this Jesus whom you crucified, both Lord and Christ. This is the origin. This is, this is the Uncle Ben for the Israelites, for all those and all those who were gathered in Jerusalem that day. When the people heard this, they were cut to the heart and said to Peter and the other apostles, Brothers, what shall we do? This reminds me of, I went to Urbana, the Urbana Missions Conference, way back many, many years ago. I think it was 99. And, 96, sorry, it was 96. Um, and when I was there, you know, you'd have great speakers talking about work that's going on throughout the world and what we could do, charging people up. And at the end, somebody would come up and say this phrase, Now, what do we do? Now, what do we do? These people are mournful. They're repentant of, of what they have done. And, and Peter's response was, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the forgiveness of your sins, and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. The promise is for you and your children, for all who are far off, for all whom the Lord our God will call. Repent and be baptized, every one of you. Repent means to turn back. Not just to say I'm sorry, but to turn back, to make that about face and change. Repent and be baptized, every one of you. Take that, take that commitment in the name of Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins, and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. This promise is for you and for your children, for all who are far off, for all whom the Lord, our God, will call. With many other words, he warned them, and he pleaded with them, save yourselves from this corrupt generation. Those who accepted his message were baptized, and about 3,000 were added to their number that day. 3,000 were added to that number that day. That's a pretty impressive number. Quite a few people that were there came to believe that day. But at the same time, not all believed. Not all who were there believed. Even after they heard them speaking in their own language, knowing that they were Galileans, even after hearing this, this sermon from Peter, even after hearing, hearing many other words from Peter, some still did not believe. They didn't want to hear it. And that's part part of, of what we have to go through as well. As we take our journey back to faith, as we go on this journey back to faith, we're going to want to bring people with us. We're going to want to bring people along. And not everybody is going to come along. Not everybody is going to, going to want to join us on our journey back to faith. But it's still our charge to tell the story. It's still our charge to tell our story. And so here we are at the origin of the church. This is the very beginning. So as we go through life, this is what we look back to. We look back to this, Acts chapter 2, the beginning. 3,120 people are gathered together from that point, meeting together daily, sharing everything in common. But as we, as we look in this journey back to faith, we look again to Prince Caspian, to the story of Prince Caspian, Caspian of, of the Pevensies coming to Narnia. To them it had only been a year. But in that year, a lot had happened. Life happened. And so during that year, they started to believe that Narnia was just a game. Just something that they had made up. And then who was this Aslan? For Narnia had been 1,300 years. And the stories of the kings and queens of Narnia have started to become a whisper. They didn't know, began to not know who they were as well. 
And so they look back to their origin. They come back this year, they're able to look back to the origin, and once they believe, then they see. Once they believe, then they see. They devoted themselves to the apostles' teaching to the, the fellowship, the breaking of bread, and the prayer. They had everything in common. The 3,120 people gathered daily. They had a good thing going. But it didn't take too long for life to get in the way. It's only a couple chapters later before you start to see there be problems. Start to see that, that things are coming up, personalities are getting in the way. Life happens. Life happens. And just like Peter Parker, we need to look back and look back at the origin when life happens. When things start to get tough. When we're not sure what to do. Look back to the origin. Not start over. Just remember. Recall. Refocus. After Peter Parker looks back at his origin, he's able, usually able to come back and beat the, the bad guy really quickly. And the other thing that happens amongst the, this first church was that being a diverse group of people, people eventually had to go home, which created two things. Number one, they were able to spread the gospel throughout the world. And number two, they didn't have the big group together anymore. It was a challenge. Kind of like all the volunteers coming down and then sharing part of their lives with us. Thousands of people. I know I personally talked to hundreds of them. They're here for a short time. They're part of the fellowship and then they go. Our charge here today, our charge that we have, is to look back to our origin. To continue to be strengthened and encouraged and that as life happens and as people move, as we move on, that we're ready. We're ready to go about, we're ready to look back to the origins and to be able to continue to proclaim the gospel, to continue to meet together, to not forget meeting together. As I said in Hebrews, let us stop meeting together, let us not stop meeting together as some have a habit of doing, let us encourage one another and all the more as we see the day approaching. Amen.